That's right! Welcome to The Know, I'm Mika Burton. I'm Gus Sirola. Could the DC film universe be saved by Wonder Woman? Well, based on early responses to her new movie, it looks like everyone's favorite Amazonian princess could be riding into the rescue with a lasso. And an invisible jet. Yeah! There's no doubt the DC Extended Universe could use a helping hand these days after its first three movies all got mixed reviews. That's being very nice. <laughs> to uh, say. While Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, and Suicide Squad definitely have their defenders and were box office hits, they weren't exactly universally loved by fans or critics. But based on early reactions from critics, the upcoming Wonder Woman movie, which hits theaters June 2nd, could possibly turn things around in a big way for DC. While proper reviews haven't been filed yet, critics who have seen the movie posted their reactions on social media last night. And they said the movie's great. A little background on Wonder Woman first before we dig into first impressions. While it's yet another superhero movie, it's also a historic one. The comic has been around for 75 years, but unbelievably this is the first time Wonder Woman has headlined a movie in theaters herself. The upcoming movie is also the first female-led superhero movie since Elektra in 2005. Oh, Forgot about that one. <laughs> uh, and it's the first to be headlined by a female from either DC or Marvel Studios. The movie, which is directed by Patty Jenkins, stars Gal Gadot as Diana Prince, who you might remember from her cameo in last year's Batman v Superman. The new movie fleshes out Wonder Woman's backstory as an Amazonian princess who leaves her people behind and heads to London during World War I. There she meets up with pilot Steve Trevor, played by Chris Pine, and they join forces to fight the bad guys. Okay, that's all we'll say about the plot since nobody likes spoilers. Some critics got to check out an advanced copy of the movie, and while full reviews are still under embargo, they are allowed to post their initial reactions on social media, and those started popping up last night. And good news for DC fans, the reactions are seemingly across the board positive. Nearly everyone basically said the same thing. That Wonder Woman kicks major ass. Haley Fouch of Collider called Wonder Woman easily the best DCEU movie so far. It's got heart and a love of heroes. Pina and Godot are charming beyond measure. Saying it's the best DCEU movie isn't exactly high praise. I no, mean, it's not. It does but... not have... Alright, <laughs> Kate Erbland of IndieWire also said Wonder Woman was her favorite DCEU movie so far. Once again, like I said, not saying that much. She wrote that it has the humor and heart the franchise so desperately needs. Uh, I guess Wonder Woman was okay, but I still like Suicide Squad the most. Said no one ever. <laughs> No, no, not gonna happen. Uh, Mike Ryan of Uprock said that Wonder Woman reminded him of Christopher Reeve's Superman, calling her a true North superhero with no angst or cynicism, which is needed right now. He also added the movie is part Captain America First Avenger and part Fish Out of Water Thor 1. Oh, that sounds pretty damn good then. More than one reviewer also mentioned that the movie was unexpectedly funny. Ryan said that Godot and Pine have great funny banter together, and the backdrop of World War One is bleak, but the characters never are. Not everyone was gushing over the movie though. Some reviewers noted the later part of the movie had some issues. Fouch said the movie withers a bit in the third act. Jermaine Lucier of Gizmodo added, there are certainly some issues like a mismatched third act, but I'll discuss that in a longer review. But both reviewers nevertheless said they like the movie. There's one big caveat here though. We've seen this before. First impressions for both Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad were also very, very glowing compared to how the movies were ultimately received by critics and fans. Although it's worth noting that the first impressions for Wonder Woman all are coming from movie critics, while the impressions for the other two were mostly from fans who got into early screenings. Not that there's anything wrong with that per se, but maybe take these first impression roundups with a grain of salt. Still, if Wonder Woman turns out to be good, it would be welcome news at DC who surely wants an unqualified hit. While the first three movies have all been profitable, they got mixed reactions from critics. Again, that's being very nice to them. Uh, the best reviewed DC Extended Universe movie, Man of Steel, has a 55% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Batman v Superman, or BB Soups, uh, and Suicide Squad did much worse with 28% and 25% scores respectively. You know, mixed. Uh, not, uh, not a great Sorry. story. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> not a great start for the first three movies in your film universe. <laughs> So, maybe Wonder Woman can turn things around and give both DC and fans a big win and not be mixed. And considering <laughs> the fact that this movie is a historic first for female superheroes, it could go a long way towards dispelling the notion that superhero movies headlined by women don't work. At the end of the day, fans just want a good movie and we'll see how they take to Wonder Woman. Because it seems like critics, at least the early ones, definitely have. What do you think of the early impressions of Wonder Woman movie? Are you planning to check it out? Let us know in the comments. And for all of your DC movie news, be sure to like this video. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the No. Or even if you're not new. Maybe yeah. you're, 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 you've just been watching the videos and you're not actually subscribed. That's rude. Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. What? what? It's no cost. Do it. Just do it. But based on early reactions from critics, the upcoming Wonder Woman movie. But based. Woman, 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 the woman, woman movie. <laughs> Germaine Lucier is fucking hell. Really? <laughs>